Okay, so during the photoelectric effect, provided that we're shining light above a threshold frequency, the electrons are going to be emitted with a range of kinetic energies up to a maximum kinetic energy. So some will come out very slow and some will come out with a certain maximum kinetic energy. How do we change this maximum kinetic energy that they're coming out with? So one thing we could do is we could increase the frequency of the light. In other words, decrease the wavelength like I've done here. This, uh, this will cause the electrons to come out with a higher maximum kinetic energy. So in other words, the fastest electron will come out at a higher maximum kinetic energy. Uh, another way that we can change the maximum kinetic energy is to change the metal. So we can use a metal with a lower work function, so it means that the minimum energy required for the electron to escape will be lower, so it come out, comes out with a higher kinetic energy. Because in this question, we've got light with a wavelength of 414 nanometers, which is directed at a sodium metal surface. Calculate the maximum kinetic energy, so interested in Ke max, and of the emitted electrons, the work function of the sodium is 2.28 electron volts, because that's the minimum energy that's required to escape. Using that wavelength, we can figure out the energy of each photon that's coming in. So you can use e equals hf, which is the same as hc over lambda. So that gives us three electron volts for each photon has that much energy. And so we can see that electrons will be emitted because the one near the surface here, the one with the most energy, only requires 2.28 electron volts to escape. So that is the one that's going to come out fastest, this one here. So let's see what happens when that gets absorbed. So it's going to absorb three electron volts of energy, use 2.28 to escape, and the remainder of it will be the maximum kinetic energy because that's the one that's going to come out the fastest. So the fast, the highest um, maximum kinetic energy is going to be 0 0.72 electron volts. So here is what this, we basically just used this equation here. So HF is the energy of the photon, and we subtracted the minimum energy needed to escape, which is the work function, and that gives us the maximum kinetic energy. Okay, another you can also use half mv squared to work out the maximum speed of the electron as well. Okay, so in this question, we're asked to explain why electrons are emitted with a range of kinetic energies up to a certain maximum level. Okay, so to answer this question, we need to really consider electrons deeper inside the metal. So, for example, this electron over here, which requires 2.80 electron volts. So, we're not just considering the electron near the surface, which requires the minimum energy you need to escape. We're considering this electron, which requires slightly more. So, when this electron absorbs the photon, it does escape, but escapes with less kinetic energy. So, to answer this question, what we need to realize is that electrons inside the metal have a range of it. Uh, energies already and provided that the light was shining is above the threshold frequency the one near the surface this one here is going to be the one that has the most energy already so therefore it requires the least energy to escape so that's the work function here that's the minimum energy to escape so it's going to come out with a maximum kinetic energy but the ones deeper inside the metal for example let's say this one over here will require slightly more energy because it has less energy so it will require uh, the work function there and and this much a bit, a bit extra so it requires this much more okay so therefore it's going to come out more with a lower kinetic energy so in this question we're directing light with the shorter wavelength at the same metal and we're asked to explain the effect this has on the emitted electrons so firstly let's consider the photons now if we're using shorter wavelength that means that each uh, the frequency is higher and the energy of each photon will be larger. So in this case, for example, we're using violet photons instead of using blue, which has more energy. Now let's consider what happens to this electron over here, the one with the most energy. So it's going to use some of the energy to escape. It's going to use a work function 2.28 to escape. So that means it's going to come out with a higher maximum kinetic energy because each photon supplied it with more energy. So we can understand this using this equation here. So if each photon provided with larger energy and the work function is unchanged, that means the maximum kinetic energy will be larger. So the electrons are going to come out faster. Okay, so there you go. Okay, another effect that could happen is also because these photons have more energy, they can also liberate electrons deeper inside the metal. So because they have more energy, even the ones deeper inside the metal, which require a lot of energy to escape, could also escape, which will increase the current. 
Okay, so in this question, we've gone back to using the original blue light, but we're now using a metal with a higher work function. So for example, calcium. So the minimum energy needed to escape from a calcium metal is larger. So when the electron in the surface, the one with the most energy, absorbs the photon, it's going to come out. But it's going to have, because it used more energy to escape, it's going to come out with a lower kinetic energy. So going back to this equation here, um, we've, the energy of each photon is the same as before. However, because the work function has increased and we're subtracting a larger number, the kinetic energy is going to go up, uh, go down. Sorry, it's going to decrease, so it's going to come out slower. Okay, so the minimum energy of each uh, need to escape is greater, and the photon's energy hasn't changed, so it's going to come out with a lower maximum kinetic energy. Okay, we've got an example of a calculation question here. We've been given the frequency of the light here, and it's being directed at a cesium surface. The work function of cesium is given in electron volts here. Determine the maximum velocity, v max of each of the electrons that are being emitted. Okay, so firstly, I'd work out the energy of each photon using e equals hf. Okay, so we've got 4.11 times into the power of minus 19 joules. And then let's work out the minimum energy you need to escape from the uh, metal, which is the work function, but we're going to have to turn that into joules. So times that by 1.6 times into the power of minus 19, the charge of an electron, to turn it into joules. So we can see here that the energy being provided by the photon is bigger than the work function. So electrons will escape from the metal. Uh, if we if we subtract the minimum energy from the energy of the photon, we can get the maximum kinetic energy they can come out with, which in this case is 7.51 times to the power of minus 20 joules. Okay, then we can use a kinetic energy equation here, just putting in the numbers where m here is the mass of the electrons that are being emitted here. Okay, and then solve and you get the velocity of the electron, 4.06 times to the power of 5 meters per second.